What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas back again with another video for you guys. We are now less than two weeks away to competing on American Ninja Warrior in Atlanta and I've been training for the Mega Wall. You've probably seen the 14 and a half warped wall that's a staple on the show and it's been around forever but just last year they added this brand new Mega Wall. 18 feet tall and $10,000 if you can conquer it. Now keep in mind attempting that wall is completely optional. When I make it to the warped wall I'll have the choice of the 14 and a half or the 18 footer. Right now I'm considering going for the 18 footer but of course I don't want to try it for the first time on the show which is why I'm driving to Tampa with you to attempt a mega wall. Jungle Gym is without a doubt the best Ninja Warrior gym in all of Florida. Unfortunately it's almost a four hour drive but it's going to be worth it because $10,000 is a lot of money and I want to make sure I can do the mega wall before I attempt it on the show. Caleb Bergstrom actually trains at Jungle Gym so he gets to run this mega wall all the time. He's going to show us the ropes. This dude is a crazy awesome athlete. I'm excited to learn from him, train with him, and see if the Mega Wall is a realistic goal for me this year on the show. That's enough chit chat. I've got a long drive ahead of me. I'll see you guys in Tampa. All right, after that long drive to Tampa, we jumped in with a six obstacle course. Caleb set this up to replicate a city qualifier for us. I really tried to treat this like an actual city qualifier. I was careful, I took my time. I didn't warm up on any of these obstacles. I wanted to make sure that I was actually trying them for the first time in the course, just like I will on the show. So this is one obstacle I was specifically excited about trying when I came out to this gym. The sky hooks is a very popular obstacle on the show. I believe it's been on the show for the last two years, so there's a really good chance we could have this in Atlanta. So I definitely wanted to get on this thing and practice it a few times before we went out there. It wasn't very hard, honestly. It is, of course, my first time trying it, so I was kind of figuring it out in the moment, but it's a nice, solid obstacle. We decided to make the dismount a little bit awkward here. We're dismounting to the left onto that box, which was really weird. I almost fell here, actually. I <laughs> landed with one foot on there. Ooh, nice. good. Golly. That was close. Last one? Last one. Last upper body obstacle in the course we had, I believe it's called the Wave Runner. This is actually an obstacle you see commonly in Vegas, not in city qualifiers, but he threw it in the course just to make it a little bit harder. Very awkward obstacle. This is my first time ever trying this one too. One of my favorite things about going to other gyms is trying obstacles you don't normally get to do. This is huge for me. And we went straight into the battering ram from that Wave Runner, and this, this is another obstacle. You commonly see this in a city qualifier or a city final. So I'm stoked I was able to get on this. If you get too big of a swing, you will slide backwards like that. So you, you gotta be pretty controlled here. This obstacle was surprisingly hard. I was actually, I, I did not expect it to be this difficult, but it was very pumpy. Afterwards, my arms were, were really taxed from this. And finally, we finished with the warped wall. I didn't go for the mega wall yet. I decided to go for the 15 footer, which was no problem. And Ronald was a little bit braver than I was. He decided to go for the mega wall in the course. Check it out. Awesome, bro. Going for the 18 footer. Come on, Ronald, let's go. Push it, push it, push it. Yeah, explode on your side. Close. Dude, that last attempt was so close. Yeah. If Ronald can't get it in three tries, I'm feeling nervous about my chances. Caleb trains here all the time. I'm excited to see him give it a shot, so here we go. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Nice, bro. Nice. Solid. <laughs> Made it look easy, bro. Let's go. Caleb's gonna get that down. Oh gosh! Let your bank know that ten thousand is gonna be coming. <laughs> Expect the direct deposit from NBC. You ready for the eighteen now? Yes. After seeing him do it, it's all about that follow through. Woo! Dang! Less run up. A lot less run up. Pay the man. Pay the man! Give him his 10K right now! Oof. Focus! Come on, come on. Yeah! 
Ah, you, you touched it though. So as you guys saw, I was not able to get it on my first couple attempts. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit discouraging. And I hate to admit this, but there is a huge part of it that's psychological for me. Completely committing with your chest away from the wall is pretty scary when you're going 18 feet up. But you have to have some space between your chest and the wall in order to reach the top. And I noticed when I watch these videos back that my chest is really close to the wall. And like I said, it's a psychological thing. It's a fear thing. I made sure to spend as much time as I wanted practicing all the obstacles that I don't have access to. So the I-beam is a really common obstacle on the show too. We don't have a good I-beam in South Florida. So I made sure to spend a lot of time practicing these transitions back and forth. Of course, a split is always a good option if you have the height. But it just depends how far they make it on the show. You do see some people split on the show. Some people are not able to reach it. So you want to be comfortable doing both. Okay, so three quarters and then the top four are half an inch. So. Yeah. Oh, easy. Don't skip on the way down on the, those ones. There you go. Yeah. Oh, easy. Keep going. Take the pegs. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh. There you go. There you go. Finish at the top. Just get one in there. Get one in that top. Beautiful. Of course, the wing nuts are everybody's favorite obstacle. Caleb gave me pointers on this thing too, man. I, I'm feeling so much more comfortable on the wing nuts just after spending a couple hours up there training with him, so. Does it. Heck yeah! Jumping spider, super common obstacle that you see in Vegas. I actually tested this last year in Vegas. After Atlanta is done, I'm confident that I'm gonna qualify for Vegas, that Ronald and Caleb will both qualify for Vegas too. You guys better believe I will be coming back to this gym and training with Caleb again before the national finals. To finish up the workout, we jumped on this long cliffhanger. I absolutely love this obstacle. Of course, this is a staple on the show. Good job, Lucas. But training for the cliffhanger really has become one of my favorite things to do. Nice. Yeah, the fat one on there, right? Come on, stick it. Nice. There you go. Yes, go, man. Come on. Come there you on. go. Finish it out. Finish it. There you go. Strong, dude. That extra one's easy. Come on. Nice. Beast. Yes. Watch your head. I did it. Unfortunately, I don't think the mega wall is in the cards for me. I was never able to get it. I had a couple attempts where I feel like I was just a couple inches short. To be honest, I'm not upset at all. I mean, it's no big deal. To be honest, I'm not upset at all. I mean, it's no big deal. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The most important thing is that I hit a buzzer and move on to the next round. Without a gym like this to practice the mega wall every single day, it's not worth it to me to attempt it on the show. I got a question for you. How many people do you think will be able to get the mega wall this year on the show? Obviously, it's possible. We saw Caleb do it. We saw Ronald do it. But after you're exhausted from doing all those other obstacles, it cannot be easy to get the mega wall. So let me know in the comments below, how many people do you think get the mega wall this year in each city? Big shout out to Caleb Bergstrom and the Jungle Gym. If you're ever in Tampa, you need to come to this gym. It is incredible. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember to work hard, stay focused, never quit. Peace out.